Hello there, beautiful people, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Miss Danielle. Here on my channel, we talk about all things Jesus Christ. We have Bible studies, prayers, biblical teachings, words of encouragement. If that's something you're interested in, hit the subscribe button and let's get right into the video. So today, my beautiful people, we are going to be talking about five biblical signs of the kingdom spouse. In my video I did on Monday, I talked about, you know, what is kingdom marriage and how to accomplish kingdom marriage. So now we're going to be talking about, you know, how do I find this person who may be my kingdom spouse? Am I being a kingdom spouse? Because if I want a kingdom marriage, guess what? I have to be a kingdom spouse. So I have five biblical signs. I have scripture and verse to back all of them up. And we're just going to run through them really quickly. And... I pray that this video blesses you, so let's get right into the video. The first biblical sign of a kingdom spouse is they keep Christ as their head. This is in 1 Corinthians 11.3. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ and the head of the woman is the man and the head of Christ is God. So look, God wants you to keep Christ as your head, whether you are a man or a woman. This was speaking as far as marriage, like it should be God, Christ, husband, wife children but god wants us as we are walking alone and we're single or we're you know searching for that marriage or that woman or that man he wants us to be keeping god as our head he wants us to keep god first in our lives he wants us to live a life that honors christ he wants us to be christ-like so this is so important because if a person is not doing this they cannot lead you in any type of way they cannot they cannot be for you if they don't live a life that honors god it's just you have to be equally yoked with the person and before you get there god wants you to keep god first so the second biblical sign of a kingdom spouse is they exemplify the fruits of the spirit. This is in Galatians 5, 22 through 23, which reads, But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. So look, God wants you as a man or a woman to be walking in the fruits of the spirit. If you say you love God, you say you live for God. He doesn't want us to be you know working the works of the flesh he wants us to walk in the fruits of the spirit and again so a way you tell if a person may be a kingdom spouse or if you are a kingdom spouse are you walking in love do you have love in your life do you have a loving heart you know what i'm saying do you have joy in your life can you bring joy to other people's lives do you have peace is the person that you're looking at do they have peace in their life do they have a peace of mind you know what i'm saying they need to have peace do they have forbearance can they suffer can they survive can they sacrifice can they serve you know also, are they kind? Are they kind with their words, their actions, you know what I'm saying, their thoughts? Are they, do they have goodness? Do they have faithfulness? Are they faithful? Do they show up every day? Do they support you? Do they, are they loyal? You know, you have to ask yourself these things before you marry this person or consider even marrying this person. Are they walking in the fruits of the spirit? Are they gentle? Do they have self-control? When, when I say self-control, do they have self-control in their finances? Do they have self-control in their relationships? Do they have self-control within themselves? Like, do they have a temper? You like, you have to really vet out a person before you decide to marry them. This is so important because God wants us to be married one time with one person that is designed for us. And he wants us to be married for life. Marriage is a sacred institution created by the Most High God. And he wants us to experience it. And he also wants us to honor it and respect it and do it, do it the right way. So... The third biblical sign of a kingdom spouse is they are an honorable Christ-like person. This is in Colossians 3, 12 through 13, which reads, Put on therefore as the elect of God, holy and beloved, bowels of mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long-suffering, forbearing one another and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. So look. God wants us to be living a Christ-like life. He wants us to be Christ-like people. That's what Christians are. They're supposed to be Christ-like people. They're supposed to, you know, live for Christ and act as Christ was. Now, of course, that may not always be true, but that is what a Christian is. Um, and even if you're not a Christian, you still should be desiring to be a Christ-like person because Jesus Christ stood for great things. He stood for forgiveness. He stood for compassion. Um, he was hardworking. He was wise. He was pure. He was genuine. These are all things you want to be doing if you desire to be a Christ-like person. Also, you want to study who was Jesus Christ? What did he do? Where did he come from? Why did he do what he did? Look at all the miracles and promises and acts of love and service that he did and get to understand those things. And, you know, ask yourself, am I am I Christ-like? Am I living a Christ-like life? Can I do better? You know what I'm saying? Challenge yourself. And also, when you're looking at for a spouse, a kingdom spouse, are they Christ-like? You really have to look at that. So, 
The fourth biblical sign of a kingdom spouse is, are they walking in their God-given purpose? This is in James 1, 5, which reads, if any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault and it will be given to you. So look, before you decide you want to get married or if you want to be a kingdom man or a kingdom woman, you got to figure out what's your purpose. Why are you here? What is the thing that God wants you to do? What are your God-given gifts and talents? And in this verse, James 1, 5, it says, if you don't know, if you don't understand, if you're, you're, you're lost, you don't know your purpose, it says that you should ask God. <laughs> it says, if any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God. Ask God, what is your purpose? What, why am I here? What do I need to be doing? Am I doing what I'm supposed to do? And then it says, he will give it to you without finding fault in you. He won't judgmental like my child or my, my son, my daughter or my son, they don't know their purpose. He won't even judge you. He'll just give it to you. Like you have to really be in a good place with God to know like, are you doing what you're supposed to be doing? And again, when you're looking for a kingdom spouse, whether you're a woman or a man, you have to ask yourself, are they walking in their God given purpose? And you gotta get to know a person to know this. Like, what are they doing? What are they doing? Are they in church? Are they serving? Are they in the community? Are they helping others? Like you have to really look at what are they doing? And you know, if you really like this man or woman and they have everything else but that, help them find a purpose. Pray for them. You know what I'm saying? Tell them, ask God, like, what's my purpose? What's your purpose? So the fifth biblical sign of the kingdom spouse is the person honors biblical principles. This is in 1 Samuel 2 30, which reads, therefore the Lord, the God of Israel declares, I promised that members of your family would minister before me forever. But now the Lord declares, far be it from me. Those who honor me, I will honor. But those who despise me will be disdained. So look, God wants us to honor biblical principles. He wants us to seek him. He wants us to do his will. He wants us to honor his commandments, his statutes, his principles, his precepts. Everything that God set forth in his holy word is for us to do. He wants us to do these things. He wants us to honor them. He wants us to respect them. He doesn't want us to fall short and fall into temptation or be living a life of immorality or, you know, working the works of the flesh. He wants us to be good people, honorable. He wants us to keep his word first. Whatever God says about marriage, he wants us to do that. Whatever God says about finances, he wants us to do that. Whatever God says about relationships, he wants us to do that. He wants us to honor these things. Keep them first. So... This is how you're going to figure out if this person is your biblical spouse, is your kingdom spouse. Are they Christ-like? Do they keep Christ as they head? Do they got the fruits of the spirits? Are they honorable? Are they Christ-like? Are they walking in their God-given purpose? And do they honor biblical principles? Of course, you also want to, you know, pray about this, like go to God, like, Lord, is this the one for me? And ask God to send you a sign if you, if you really uncertain or unsure, give it some time and God will show you like, yeah, this is the one or nah this is not the one or this ain't the right time you know what i'm saying so remember so let's go through these one more time five biblical signs of a kingdom spouse spouse one they keep christ as their head two they exemplify the fruits of the spirit three they are honorable and christ-like four they are walking in their god-given purpose five they honor biblical principles so look, remember to share this video with someone you may know, and I love you so much. I pray this video blessed you, God bless you, and I'll see you next time.